Okay, we have two more questions here. And if you notice, for questions 13 and 14, this is with moles slash stoichiometry from the 2017 Regents exams, that we have in question 13 a repeat. It's asking basically the same question that's, that's been asked a couple of times. Show a numerical setup, which means the numbers for calculating percent composition by mass of carbon now in this formula. Okay, so percent, I'm going to just write it down here. Percent is equal to the part over the whole thing times 100. This equation is on reference table T, so don't guess. Know where to look. Well, what's the part? The part is the carbon. You go to the, of course, the periodic table, and here is carbon's mass. Carbon's mass is 12. Okay, but I'm not going to just put 12 in. Notice it's six carbons in the formula. So what does that mean? Well, it's 12 times 6. That's the part over the whole thing, which they give you 162.1. That's times 100. Now, this was the numerical setup. You don't even have to bother multiplying 12 by 6 if you don't want to. On to the next question. Okay, so for 14, we have an equation. Now, I wrote this out by hand because I realized afterwards that it was a mole-mole stoichiometric problem, right? That everything is relative to everything else in a balanced equation based on the numbers in front, which are called coefficients. They could be for individual molecules and or um, atoms or moles. So in this case, it says determine the number of moles of oxygen. So what I like to do is put the X above what I'm looking for, required to completely react with 6 moles of the CH3CHO. So this is 6 here. And then below the equation, I write the coefficients. So in front of CH3CHO is a 2. In front of O2 is a 1. And what that does, it, it gives me a proportion. 6 over 2 is equal to X over 1. Solve for x. Well, 2x, of course, is equal to 6. Divide both sides by 2. And, of course, the answer is 3. Keep working hard. I'm going to have some videos on other math problems from the chemistry regions. They are from different units. They're all based on reference table T for the most part. Make sure you check those out. Keep working hard, and good luck.